Are you seeing this video that is trending? Come, come and watch it. Come and watch it. Look at it now. The victims of this generation will be illiterate. Illiterates will suffer in the hands of native doctors who wear suit and tie. Yes. That means there is no future for illiterates in Christianity. The gospel that we are preaching now requires a lot of knowledge. Yes. So study to show yourself unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. Yes. It's a serious matter. The earlier you subscribe to knowledge, the safer for your future. Because only an illiterate will be deceived by a native yes. doctor. You know, the native doctors are no more in the village. Because people have left the village. So business has closed for them in the village. So since everybody has left the village to the city, they too, they have come to the city rebranded. So if you are waiting to see a native doctor with a nightgown and chewing stick, they are no more there. They have also upgraded. They wear suit, they wear tie, they wear perfume, they drive in a motorcade with pilot and escort. So you need discernment. You need what? Now listen. In darkness, anything goes. But when light begins to shine, anything does not go. With knowledge, discernment becomes sharp. When a man is preaching and you look at him, you don't need one hour to know. Within a few minutes, you can decipher whether this is of God or not. Because likewise, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. If I'm preaching, shout, I hear you. He said, the time shall come. They shall not endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. The word sound is the Greek word wholesome. It's the Greek word healthy doctrine. He said, the time will come and we're in that time. People don't want doctrine. People just want razzmatazz. You know razzmatazz? You enter a place and razzmatazz them. Sha, 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 sha. Everybody is falling. You razzmatazz them. And that is it. Whether you preach or not, they are already satisfied. It's called razzmatazz. But Reverend Steve, if you, if you check carefully, every time Jesus did miracles, people celebrated him. But when he taught doctrine, they left him. Fake Christians don't like doctrine. Yes. In our church, I tell them, if you don't come for Bible study, you're not a member of this church. You are just a miracle seeker. Because genuine members want to study the Bible and find out who Christ is. Look at it. When Jesus was giving them bread and fishes, the number was increasing. 5,000. And then they multiplied. Then when they came the second time, he said to them, eat my flesh. Drink my blood. They said, look at this man. You think we want to eat your flesh? You want to make us flesh eat us? They got angry and left. Everybody left. Jesus' church closed down. Everybody left. When he was doing miracles, people increased. When he started teaching doctrine, they left. Any church where members can sit down like you're sitting down to be taught is a solid church. It's a solid church. You want to know a flimsy church? If it is not breakthrough, yes. bonanza, miracle fiesta. You know what I mean? If you put believers heritage, you say, hey, what? We are not coming. But if you put by prophecy by fire, hey! Yes. No doctrine. And you know, if you remove doctrine from Christianity, we have no Christianity. What makes Christianity Christianity is doctrine. Yes. That's why the way to know a man of God is doctrine. He said, count them worthy of double honor. They who labor in word and doctrine. That's how to know a man of God. A man of God is a laborer. Because to teach and to take time and teach like this is labor. It's labor. If it's to throw people down, there's not too much work. Not too much work. Look, I'm not a small boy in ministry. I'm not a youth copper. I've been in this thing for decades. 
To throw people down is not work. It's just to create an atmosphere. Create an atmosphere. But to teach. And to teach and make sure people are not sleeping. It's work, sir. To teach and make sure people are not sleeping and make sure people are understanding is work. Labor. To even study, to have what to say is labor. Then to deliver and deliver well is labor. That's why the Bible says give them double honor. Honor is not honor is salary. God punish the devil. If you're catching my flow, shout, I hear, I hear. Sir, you know, when Jesus gave them bread and fish, they gathered. When he said, eat my flesh, they left. Then he turned to the twelve and said, won't you go? Hear what Peter said, to whom shall we go? We didn't come for bread and fish. We came for the word of life. You have the word of life. That's why we are here. We are not here for miracles. We are here for the word of life. One day Jesus said, I am my father, I want. They took stone. He said, okay, wait, wait, don't stone me now. Why are you stoning me? For which of my miracles are you stoning me? They say, miracle, we like miracle. In fact, give us more miracle. We don't stone you for miracle, but that you, a man, make us yourself God. That's why we stone you. Then Jesus said, is it not written in your law that I have said that you are gods? And if you call them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken. So the coming of God's word into a man makes a God out of that man. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. When the word enters you, the entrance of the word produces a God out of you because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The more word, the more God. Am I preaching tonight? If you're hearing me shout, I hear. So when a church can endure doctrine, there are matured people. Maturity in Christianity is no miracles. Maturity in Christianity is establishment in word. See, we don't seek miracles. Jesus said an evil generation seek for miracles. So if you see anybody seeking miracles, it's an evil person. I didn't say it, Jesus said it. An evil generation seek for miracles. Then he said, and none shall be given to them. Jesus said, none shall be given to them except the sign of Jonas. What is the sign of Jonas? Jonah in the belly of the fish. Three days and three nights. What was that? A typology of death, burial, and resurrection. That means the greatest miracle in the church is the message of his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Why? When he died, I died. When he was buried, I was buried. When he rose, I rose. When he ascended, I ascended. Where he's glorified, I'm glorified. Where he's seated, I'm seated. What he has, I have. What he can do, I can do. I am in him, he is in me. When you know that, you will tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody shout, I hear. We don't seek for miracles. We seek for Christ. The more we know Christ, miracles follow us. The more we know Christ, Gabba Shotala. Am I talking to somebody? If you're hearing me shout, I hear. Let me push this thing. Let me push this thing. These signs shall follow those. Shall follow. You don't follow signs. You follow Jesus. Signs follow you. While I'm busy going after Christ, miracles are happening naturally because a born again man is a union of immortality in mortality. You carry immortality in your mortality. That's why you shall drink deadly thing. It shall not hurt you. Why? Immortality in mortality. You are not an ordinary man. Whatsoever is born of God. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed by the word of God. Of his own will, begat he us by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits. You're pregnant with deity in your humanity. You are the house of immortality. God lives in you. He doesn't visit you. You are the abode of God. He said, I am my father will come into you. And we shall make ourselves manifest. 
You're too much. You're too much. You're not an ordinary person. So when Christians pursue miracles, it's an insult on your identity. Miracles should pursue you. You do miracles at will. When she do it, you are a dual citizen. You are a man at the same time, immortal. You are a dual citizen. So when you operate on earth like a man, and then you confront situations that are higher than a man, you switch. You operate from the supernatural. You make miracles happen. When you finish, you come back. That's why Nicodemus said to Jesus, no man can do these things that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus said, Nicodemus, it's not about doing except a man be. It is what you be that determines what you do. It is what you be that determines what you do. If you don't get born again, you cannot do. To do, you must be born. So your birth determines your exploits. Born again is not a cliche. Born again is the amalgamation of deity with humanity. It is the union of immortality with immortality. It is the marriage of divinity with humanity. When divinity marries humanity in a body, it is called born again. That's why a man like Paul will carry a venomous serpent. Venomous. And hold it. And, 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 and they're waiting for him to die. He throws it away. Yes. They wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. The man is not there. They change their mind. They say, this man is a God. There are some of you in Accra. They are changing their mind. Yes. They thought it was over. But a new chapter has just started for you. Who am I talking to in this building? If you are the one, shout glory. Sit down, cross your legs, shout, I am in charge. Please. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, follow me, follow me. God bless you. Thank you.